This is Backcountry Cooking and you're watching Mountain State Overland. Blue Ridge Overland Gear. Organize your stuff. Enjoy your time outside. 100% made in the U.S. of A. Well, we are making fish tacos in the backcountry today. Um, it's actually going to be a pretty easy recipe. I've got four avocados here, and I'm cheating a little bit. I'm actually going to use a guacamole mix because we're going to put some guacamole on the fish tacos. We're going to have some sour cream, some tortilla shells. We're using tilapia as the fish. Um, I, I purchased the prepackaged, um, you know, vacuum sealed. It's really easy to transport. You don't have to worry about things leaking in your cooler, all those types of things. We're gonna start prepping everything out, get the scuttle going, and cook some fish tacos. So Jeremy is going to actually do the guacamole for me to kind of help me out, and I'm gonna start getting the fish ready. Jeremy can tell by the color <laughs> and the smell of the avocado as to whether it's organic. That's definitely organic. Definitely organic. All right, Absolutely. he's got the seal of approval of organic <laughs> avocado. Yes, he was definitely organic, my friend. Put a little oil on there. Can't hurt. Oh no, but the oil's a must. It's, it's pretty warm. Okay, that's good. We put them in our Engel fridge a couple of days ago, and uh, I thought they'd thaw all the way out, and they're mostly thawed, but they're still pretty daggone cold. Let me get some seasoning on all of them. Oh yeah, nice. So basically what I'm doing, I don't really want them to cook all the way yet. I want to get both sides seasoned. Um, you know, and they've already started cooking. You see they've already started turning a little bit white on that side. Uh, finishing up some guacamole, we had four avocados and two packets of the uh, sort of mix, guacamole mix you buy at the store. So much easier to use. Pretty much bring it, add it to some avocado. I like to add a little salsa. Kind of gives it a little bit more of a fresh, a little more freshness, I guess. I did not mean to spray you with that lime juice. Right. If it starts to sing, man, I apologize. I need a little salt and pepper, and she's all good. The fish, we are and salsa, which we have and out. We've got some cilantro and some uh, lime juice too. Okay. Also. So I'll get I'll get the sour cream out. Okay. Get ready. Sounds good. Thank you. It's gonna be buried, I bet. You definitely got sour cream, right, man? Oh yeah, in the back of the cooler. Um, oh. Always on. Oh yeah, way down there. Gotcha. Well, what'd you say again? I say, why not? Put a little sour cream in your guacamole. Can't hurt. This is the first time, time we've done, done the tacos. black and fish tacos on the scuttle. It's cooking really nicely. Pretty impressed. Once it gets heated to a certain point, it really holds the temperature really well and pretty evenly actually. It's sort of like a big giant cast iron skillet um, in a sense and you sort of season it the same way. You you know, as you cook on it, it gets better and better to cook on. Gosh, no doubt. So you're gonna load up your fish onto your tortillas. Right. A little bit of lemon juice, a little salsa, a little bit of sour cream, some cilantro and some oh, um, guacamole, guacamole that Jeremy has made. Mm. Uh, which is killer. So you're just basically going to put all that on your fish taco, man, and it should be really good. All right, man. I'm thinking like more eating, <laughs> like less talking. More eating and less talking. <laughs> yes. Because this looks brother. delicious. Oh, wow. I enjoy fish tacos a lot because there's something, you know, if you use a little bit of blackening seasoning, um, you still get, you know, some of the fish's flavor also, but, you know, you can't beat a really good fish taco, in my opinion. I mean, what is it? Is it good? Mm. Yeah, it's very yummy. The, the blackened seasoning on that, the fish taco is 
pretty much perfect. It's like just enough spice. Pretty spicy. Definitely probably spicier than some people like, but it's uh I can't stop eating it. I'll just say that. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's been a while since I've done anything anywhere near whitewater. <laughs> so, and that was all rafting. So no canoe experience in whitewater. Of course, today is going to be a pretty easy day. But what day are we boating? Thursday? Or not Thursday. Uh, Monday? Yeah. On the Nanahala? Yeah. Although I don't think that'll be that bad either. So. Yeah. There's only like three It'll be people. Fun. Only three people have died this year on this river. That, that's, today, so that's pretty good, actually. That's pretty easy. good. That's probably better than the new. So I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> 